Welcome back to Clone Collector Reviews. Today we have a very exciting review of Luke Skywalker from the Book of Boba Fett. Now this, fi now this figure is very cool. It's definitely based off of the Book of Boba Fett. Uh, the show was not the best. Uh, but the Luke Skywalker parts about that show were very good. Unfortunately, I got mine from GameStop and they bent the card. I'm going to be opening up this figure so it doesn't matter all that much. It does have a pretty nice card back, I think. Pretty nice picture of Luke and uh, Baby Grogu. Bra Baby Grogu. Uh, ages 4 plus. The back, we've got some uh, other figures in the wave. Grand Admiral Thrawn, Ahsoka, HK7 droid are pretty good figures. Uh, yeah, let's go and crack this guy open. And here we have Luke Skywalker out of the package. Uh, first impressions on this figure are very nice. This this is a very nice figure. Uh, but first, let's take a quick look at his accessory here. Um, let's move him off of screen. He has a very nice... It's very small. Uh, very nice lightsaber. It's very nicely painted and detailed. Nice peg. Uh, unfortunately, with this figure... Uh, there is no peg on this figure, and of course you can see his other accessory, the lightsaber, in his hand, also very nicely painted uh, in detail. It's it's the exact same thing, paint-wise, just without the peg and the blade. Uh, there's no peg on this figure to peg the lightsaber in, which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, I would have, I probably wouldn't have even thought anything of it if it didn't have the peg, and it was just the saber. But since it has the peg, that is a little bit disappointing that they give you the peg, but don't give you the hole. Um, but otherwise, this figure is very nice. Take a closer look at his face sculpt here. Raise the camera just a little bit. That is actually a pretty good face of Luke Skywalker. Maybe not Mark Hamill Luke Skywalker exactly, but the Luke Skywalker we saw in... Uh, the Book of Boba Fett, that definitely looks just like him. The eyes are so nice on this figure, and definitely the hair. Uh, it actually looks better in person than on camera. Uh, but he's very nicely detailed with all his robing. It, there's, it's very simple, but it looks very nice. Uh, he does have the one glove on. It's very nice in the back, the front. Not much from the front. But yeah, he's very simple, but it very it looks very nice. Uh, yeah, this figure's just very nice looking. Uh, we can do some quick uh, articulation, but there is a better look at the saber. It is just the exact same, just without the peg and with the blade. Uh, Articulation-wise on this guy, he's very nice uh, articulation-wise. You can actually get him into some nice poses. Uh, we got a dumbbell joint at the head, so it gets you about... That much tilt, that much tilt, not much. You can't really get him looking up at all because of the hair. You can't get him looking down a little bit. Maybe if he was training Grogu. Uh, ball hinge at the shoulders gets you about that far up, which is pretty good. Uh, there is a ball hinge, of course, at the uh, elbow. There are also on both wrists. Let me see if I can get this. There are up and down hinges on both wrists which is amazing on a lightsaber wielding figure it's perfect get some really good poses out of those um and then of course on he does have some uh a chest which you can kind of see in there maybe just a little bit there's a ball joint in there go he can get a little bit of crunch looks like he's trying to scare someone get a little bit back looks like he's falling off of something a little bit of tilt, a little bit more tilt, so very nice. Uh, he does have very nice cloth, and there are ball joints on this figure. So there are ball joints on a 4-inch figure, which is amazing. Uh, so he can get about that far up with his ball joint, uh, about that far back going straight back, and then he can get all the way out, pretty much as, as far as you really need it to go, and then you can boost it with the other joint. Uh, there's also a thigh swivel in here. It is a little bit stiff. 
This figure is a little bit stiff at some points, but there it does swivel all the way around. There are uh, ball hinges at the knee, and they do rotate. All the ball hinges rotate. Uh, there's a ball hinge at, or uh, I guess an ankle joint. So you can get about that far back, about that far forward, and then it does rock a little bit. The, uh, the hinges on the feet are a little bit tight. Uh, this guy was a little bit hard to get to stand at first, straight out of the package. Uh, but he is, once you, once you mess with him a little bit, he's pretty easy to get to stand. He's, he's not, like, impossible to get to stand. He's just, out of the package, he's a little bit hard. Uh, uh, what was I saying? Let's go ahead and get his lightsaber back in his hand, and then get him all posed up, and we'll do a couple comparisons with some of the other figures in the wave. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and do some comparisons. Here we have him next to Ahsoka Tano. Here we have him next to the HK-7 droid. Here we have him next to Grand Admiral Thrawn. Get a little bit of air to the Empire. So, oh. Does not want to stand. So, uh, yeah, those, uh, the comparisons were pretty nice. Uh, this figure is definitely another win from Hasbro. Hasbro's pumping out some good figures now. They were, they took a little bit of a of a, a bad spurt there for like a good five years um but now they're starting to get back to the it's pumping out the good figures they definitely need to fix their distri distribution problems uh if these were in stores i feel like they would sell like hotcakes but um they're not really in stores which is unfortunate because these figures are really nice yeah but uh this pretty much does does it for my review of the luke skywalker figure i'm gonna go ahead and bring in a group photo or a group shot of kind of everybody in the wave that he's in. Stick, stick you right there. Yeah, you're right there. Uh, but yeah, this figure is definitely a pickup. Uh, Seventeen dollars is a little bit steep, which I believe is what he retails for. That's kind of like the new standard for vintage collection, which is unfortunate. I feel like fifteen is much more reasonable. Um, but I can't complain. These, these figures are just getting so good. Uh, yeah, this this has been my review of the Luke Skywalker uh, vintage collection figure. Oh, actually, I forgot to show one thing. Uh, and I will go ahead and cut off to that. And here he is holding his, uh, I guess, the un, un, it, unactivated lightsaber. Uh, it does look pretty nice in his hand. Uh, yeah. It's pretty much the exact same thing. It just doesn't, just doesn't have the the whole blade and everything. Uh, but yeah, this pretty much does it for my Luke Skywalker uh, Vintage Collection Boba Fett review. Uh, this figure is very nice. Uh, definitely would recommend. And if you enjoy my content, please like. And if you want to see more of my content, then please subscribe. And uh, I will see you next time. Bye.